Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. Okay, uh, today is another uh, answer to my Friday challenge. Pete, thank you very much for submitting this. Um, Pete created this uh, cool graph um, and it's a dynamic graph that he has used some control boxes down here to actually toggle on and off. Uh, the values so you look if I um, go ahead and uncheck Larry uncheck Pete and then let's just check it out for the year 2012 versus 2013 um, you can see that we can toggle our graph on and off so uh, um, using these uh, bo check boxes here so uh, it's a dynamic chart that you can also create and see how Pete did it now um, what Pete does is Pete um, has these check boxes set to cells over here on the left. Let's go ahead and scroll down and you'll see these. So there's the person. Are we going to show them or not? It's set to true or false. And so if I uncheck Joe, you'll notice over here on the left, Joe is now checked false. If I check it again, Joe is checked true. Now that he's linked those, um, down here in his formula area for his chart, he's saying, if the um, both it is true that the person and true that the year is showing then let's go ahead and show this else this value of C10 else let's put in a not applicable and then what uh, Pete's doing is he has a macro that goes in and checks and sees if there's an error in these rows down here uh, let's go ahead and hide the row so that's how uh, Pete's making this dynamic uh, it creates a lot of calculations but it's kind of a cool technique because it really almost uh, looks like you're drawing in the graph you'll notice that they, the lines just uh, float in there so kinda cool you can uh, download this sample chart um, from the link below uh, or you can just go to excel dashboard templates com and type in Friday challenge multi-year graph by month and you can find Pete's answer you can see how he's doing it with his macro and uh, try it out for yourself so once again uh, this is Steve equals true please visit my blog and also don't forget to sign up for my video channel as a subscriber, so you're sure to get the latest post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.